Sherwin Williams Agreeable Gray is a warm gray that can make your home feel warm, inviting, and cozy, especially when you pair it correctly. It's a popular paint color that's been going strong for the last two decades. This is a really good paint color for those of you that don't want to have any beiges in your home, or you don't want to see any yellow undertones, or taupes, or creams, or cool grays, then perhaps Sherwin Williams Agreeable Gray just might be the right paint color for your home. Can Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray work in every home? The answer is no. Just because it's a popular paint color doesn't mean that it can work in every home. It depends on the type of fixed elements that you have. What type of lighting do you have in your home? For example, if you're thinking about painting your main interior walls with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray and you don't receive a lot of natural lighting, then don't be surprised that it doesn't read so warm. Chances are it's going to read on the cooler side, and this is where you run into the issue of a violet gray. Or let's just say that you want to paint your kitchen cabinets. Well, you need to be mindful on the type of fixed elements that you have, such as your kitchen countertops. If you have warm, earthy kitchen countertops, then chances are Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray is going to pair really well. Or even if you have off-white kitchen countertops, the same thing. Chances are it's going to pair really well. The issue is if you don't have a lot of natural lighting in your kitchen, then chances are Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray is going to lean on the cool sides of grays or it's going to look dark and muddy and that's probably something that you don't want to see in your home. So please get a sample. Compare it with what you have in your home. I want you to get this right. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. So today I'm going to show you the undertones of Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. And then I'm going to compare it with some other similar warm grays so that you can see what makes Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray different. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to share with you just a few tips that you should know about Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. So the first thing that you need to know about Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray is that it's a warm gray. And all warm grays have a green gray undertone. So what I want to do is show you the undertone yourself so that you can understand why it's considered a warm gray. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Marblehead Gold, which is considered a yellow watch this. When you compare this with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, you can instantly see the gray undertones in Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. So watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore Odessa Pink, which is considered a pink. Watch this. When you compare Odessa Pink with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, you're going to instantly see the green undertones in Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, and this is what makes this paint color a warm gray. So now I'm going to compare Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray with some other similar warm grays so that you can see what makes it unique. And it's important to note that just because Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray has green gray undertones doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a warm gray in your home. And that's especially true depending on what type of fixed elements that you have and the type of lighting that you have in your home. Don't be surprised if Agreeable Gray leans on the cool size of grays. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Edgecomb Gray, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. When you compare Edgecomb Gray with Agreeable Gray, you're going to notice how Edgecomb Gray is lighter than Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. Agreeable Gray is darker than Edgecomb Gray. You're also going to notice how Agreeable Gray has got more of a green gray undertone. It's grayer than Edgecomb Gray, as Edgecomb Gray leans a little bit warmer and less gray. Now watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. When you compare Revere Pewter with Agreeable Gray, you're going to instantly notice how Revere Pewter is darker than Agreeable Gray. It reads more of a green gray in comparison to Agreeable Gray. And notice how Revere Pewter, it just looks more gray as a Agreeable gray, in this case, is warmer and lighter and less green gray 
than Revere Pewter. So watch what happens when I compare Sherwin-Williams Skyline Steel, which is considered a warm gray. Watch this. You're gonna notice how Skyline Steel is darker than agreeable gray. It's more gray than agreeable gray. It has a little bit more of a pronounced green gray undertone as agreeable gray. It's warmer, it's lighter, and the green gray undertone is less pronounced. Is Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray the right undertone for your home? It depends. There's so many different variables. For example, so let's just say that your hardwood flooring is cherry wood. It's got the red undertones. Well, don't be surprised to see the green undertones pull out of Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray that it looks a little bit more green than you expected it to be. Or let's say that you have light hardwood flooring. It's more neutral. You have that little bit of brown beige undertones. Well then chances are Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray is gonna create that warm, inviting, and cozy ambiance that you're looking for. So don't be misled by all those beautiful pictures of Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray because chances are your home might not be able to pull it off. So please, most importantly, Get a sample or make your own sample of Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. Compare it with what you have in your home and be mindful of the type of lighting that you have in your home. I want you to get this right. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. If you're tired of trying sample after sample and you want to save time and you don't want to make a costly mistake, then I highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior and exterior paint colors. Then you're gonna book an appointment to speak to me in a live video, and I'm gonna to explain to you what will or will not work in your home. And then afterwards, you're gonna receive a detailed color kit that's gonna to explain to you everything that you need to know. And it doesn't matter which paint colors you select, you're gonna have the confidence knowing that they're all gonna work with your fixed elements and your lighting and your interior decor. And I highly recommend you go check out my reviews. I have over 580 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna share with you just a few valuable tips that you should know about Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray. Design tip number one, exterior paint color. For those of you that are thinking about painting the exterior main body of your home with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, I just want you to know that it's not gonna be a warm gray. Instead, it's gonna look like a grayish. And what's a grayish? It's a mix of a beige and a little bit of a gray. And why is that? Because the sun outside is going to make this paint color five times lighter and five times brighter. And that's not a bad thing as long as it pairs correctly with your fixed elements. For example, if you have cool gray stones on the exterior of your home, don't be surprised if Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray looks more like a beige. So please, just be careful and compare Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray with your fixed elements. Tip number two, paint finish. Selecting the right sheen for your home is just as important as selecting the right paint color. And when you select the right sheen for Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, it's gonna make a huge difference in your home. And it gets a little bit complicated. So I'm just gonna share with you two examples. Example number one, let's just say that you wanna paint your main interior walls Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray, and your space doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting, then you might want to go with eggshell, as eggshell finish is going to do a better job of reflecting the light, both artificial and natural lighting. Or example number two, let's say that you have a space where, where you receive a lot of natural lighting and your fixed elements are muted, and that's really important. For example, the fixed elements in this case is carpet. You might wanna paint your walls a matte finish. It's gonna look polished and refined. So if you found this video helpful, please put a like, let me know. I wanna hear from you. And I would love for you to subscribe to this channel if you wanna get the most in-depth paint color reviews that you can't get anywhere else online. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.